So I'm an environment artist. I'm a 2D hand-drawn animator by trade. I am a producer at The Mill in London. I'm a managing director and that basically means that I have to make sure things get done. I work for Arteus. We're a post-production company in Glasgow and we work in the TV and film industry. I'm a modeler at the moment. Uh, we take the concept art and kind of turn it into reality. I am the studio manager at Axis Studios Glasgow. I make sure that everyone has everything that they need to do their job. I make sure that everyone's uh, happy and comfortable. Uh, working as a visual effects supervisor on, on film sets, I can also be found in the studios uh, working as a comp artist. When I was younger, I think what got me interested was like Toy Story, was the, the classic starter one. Uh, I was addicted to that. And it was just seeing those animated films, I found it fascinating and how they gone about making them. Uh, I never thought I'd ever be part of it. It was like, you know, you're a kid, that's the unachievable thing that you've got no idea. I was one of those indoor kids, so <laughs> I was just obsessed with animation and video games from quite a young age. I've always drawn for as long as I can remember. I've always had a real passion for hand drawing. It became inevitable in my life that that would be something I would follow. I was very interested in cameras and capturing images of people, so when I combined that with my drawing skills, it naturally led into an interest in animation. My dad used to take us to the cinema to give my mum a break and I watched all the Star Wars films back to back. So I've always been a massive fan of movies, but I had absolutely no idea that I could potentially work in that industry. So I studied for five years at university. One year was art, general art, and then it was three years of, of animation, and then a one year sort of um, specialising in visual effects master's course for the fifth year. I was always the person that organised holidays and going out with your friends, I was always the person kind of pushing that. And I then went and did film and media at Sterling. It did give me a really good start. And also I don't think I would have got my job without that degree. So I think it was um, a good way to spend four years. My days are really varied. I work with the people that own the company and the senior team, which involves solving problems. I also make sure the day-to-day -day running of the company is happening smoothly. So that's the main things that I do. It can be in Edinburgh or Glasgow or in the middle of nowhere on a film set, uh, but then I could also end up in a studio. I could have uh, a day doing voiceover work with, with actors and uh, directing them and being a bit more creative and, and hands-on. A lot of my job entails uh, working with a team. So I have a team that I make sure they have stuff to do and I make sure that that gets executed on time. In visual effects, we do mainly TV and film effects, so that's for kids' television shows, for adverts, films, explosions, set extensions, these kind of things. I've ended up being in the creative industry, but I'm not an artist. Um, I'm good at organising and keeping to time and speaking to people, so I've ended up um, organising a studio and making sure everyone has what they need to do to do their job. I absolutely love my job when you've got a passion for what you're doing, you've got that type of storytelling mind um, that the job's suited to, then you're going to go forward with it, you're going to go the extra mile as well. The best advice I can give for young people who are interested in this kind of industry is to keep your studying as broad as possible. Try lots of different things and then when you find something that really clicks with you, like zone in on it and develop that. You have to be passionate. If you don't really want to work in this industry, you'll find it very tough because lots of people do. There's masses of jobs. You don't necessarily have to be arty or creative. If you are creative and that's your thing, draw. Draw every single day. You have to put a lot of time into it. It's not, it's not like something else where you just learn a tool and as soon as you've got the tool, you're good to go. You need to learn how to use it efficiently and quickly. To go the extra mile, you have to look for work experience, anything, like if people are shooting films, offer to help them out. I think that it's definitely important to always ensure that you love what you're doing. When I was younger, I absolutely adored building and modelling with FIMO. I was obsessed with Ardman and everything Wallace and Gromit. Fast forward to almost 12 years later, I work within a company that works with Ardman and has a really good relationship with them. Anything that, you're, that you love doing and you're passionate about, no matter how silly you think it is, it could be relevant and could be a job. Just never give up.